Russian President Vladimir Putin said that Russia will end the war in Ukraine only if Kiev agrees to drop its NATO ambitions and hand over the entirety of four provinces claimed by Moscow. Now, Kiev has immediately rejected this offer. His conditions are diametrically at odds with what Ukraine is demanding. He also repeated his call for Ukraine's denazification based on what Kiev calls a slur against its leadership. He further has called the Ukraine peace summit a distraction. Meanwhile, Ukraine said the conditions were absurd. What the organizers of the meeting in Switzerland are proposing is another trick to distract everyone from the causes of the Ukrainian crisis, reverse cause and effect, and set the discussion on the wrong track. What can one say about these messages? It's an ultimatum. These messages are not different from all the past ultimatums. Realistically, what we are seeing, what we are witnessing, is a resurgence of Nazism. It's a new wave. Now, the Nazism is Russian. What Putin says is the same. To give him part of our territory, both occupied and unoccupied, he is talking about parts of our state. He says he will then stop and there will not be any frozen conflict. On the other hand, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin at NATO headquarters in Brussels said that Putin is in no position to make demands on Ukraine to end the war. You know, Putin has occupied, illegally occupied, uh, sovereign Ukrainian territory. Uh, he is not in any position to dictate to Ukraine uh, what they must do to, to bring about a peace. I think, um, you know, it, that's exactly the kind of behavior that we don't want to see. We don't want to see... Um, a, a leader of one country wake up one day and decide that he wants to erase uh, borders and annex uh, the territory of his neighbor. The situation has, however, not changed NATO support for Ukraine. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said that NATO will assume a greater role in coordinating arms supplies to Ukraine. Furthermore, Hungary gave up its resistance to the Ukraine support package NATO aims to agree at its Washington summit in July. It comprises a financial pledge and the transfer to NATO of the coordination of arms supplies and training. During a visit by Stoltenberg to Budapest, Prime Minister Viktor Orban said that his country will not block NATO decisions on providing support for Ukraine, but had agreed that it would not be involved.